Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to convert percents to decimals. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. A percent is a number that represents a certain amount out of 100. If you were to say something was 60%, that means that there are 60 out of 100. A decimal is any number that is less than 1, but greater than 0. Now when converting percents to decimals, because percents are out of 100, it means you have to divide by 100 to convert out of the percent. This percentage right here is 53%. In order to convert it from 53% back into a decimal, we're going to divide by 100 because this represents 53 out of 100. 53 divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.53, so 53% as a decimal is 0 0.53. There is a shortcut for converting percents to decimals that does not involve completing any math. If you need to change a percent into a decimal, you're going to add a decimal point behind the whole number, then you're going to move the decimal point to the left two times. The reason you move the decimal point to the left two times is because when you divide by 100, 100 has two zeros, and each zero represents one time moving the decimal. After we move the decimal two times, we end up with 0 0.53 as our percent written as a decimal. You will notice that 0 0.53 is the answer for both ways of converting this percent into a decimal. Let's do a couple practice problems on our converting percents to decimals worksheet. The first problem on our converting percents to decimals worksheet gives us 45%. So we have to change 45% into a decimal. The way we're going to do that is we're going to divide 45 by 100. When you divide 45 by 100, you will get 0 0.45. So we know 45% converted to a decimal is going to be 0 0.45. You can also use the shortcut method, which is to take 45% and we take our decimal point, which is going to be behind the 5, and we're going to move it to the left two times. It gets moved to the left two times because it represents dividing by 100, which has two zeros. After you move it to the left two times, you'll be left with 0.45 as a decimal or 0 0.45 as a decimal. And you can see that the answer is the same for whichever way that you complete the problem. This means that 45% is 0 0.45 as a decimal. The last problem we're going to complete on our converting percents to decimals worksheet is number 7. This problem gives us 4% and asks us to convert it to a decimal. In order to convert percents to decimals, we have to divide by 100. And then 4 divided by 100 is 0 0.04. So 4% as a decimal is 0 0.04. We could also use a shortcut method, so 4%, and we know that in order to convert it to a decimal, we have to move the decimal point to the left two times. So it goes left one time, two time. We have an empty spot between the decimal point and the 4. This empty spot needs to be filled with the number 0 as a placeholder. So we know the solution is going to be 0 0.04 as a decimal. You will notice that once 4% has been converted to a decimal, you will get 0.04 regardless of which way that you complete it. Hopefully you found this video helpful for teaching you how to convert percents to decimals. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.